So, we have to talk about Tati Westbrook because it looks like she might be in some really serious legal trouble. And no, it's not what you're thinking. Jeffree Star isn't trying to sue Tati over her Breaking My Silence video, and James Charles isn't suing her over her By Sisters video. It's actually Tati's Halo Beauty business partner that filed the lawsuit against her and her husband, James Westbrook. Now, before we get into the tea, I just have to put out a few disclaimers. First off, this information was first found by a channel called Without a Crystal Ball, so credit to them. And just because I'm giving this person credit doesn't mean that I endorse them or their channel in any way, shape, or form. I'm also not a lawyer and never plan on being one. I'm just here to go over what's going on with you guys and try and make sense of everything. Exposed. Exposed. In 2018, Tati Westbrook launched her brand called Halo Beauty. Her first product ever was Hair, Skin, and Nails Booster. In Tati's announcement video, she mentioned that she called her brand Halo Beauty because it was an all-inclusive brand and everything would be under the halo, like vitamins, skincare, color cosmetics, and so on. A few months later, Tati announced her second product launch for Halo Beauty, called Halo Kiwi, a skin booster vitamin. Despite the initial backlash that Tati got from launching Vitamins, Halo Beauty seemed to be an overnight success. Then, in April of 2019, James Charles promoted Sugar Bear Hair, which happened to be Tati's number one competitor. I also want to give a quick shout out to Sugar Bear Hair. I met their team weekend one at Coachella and they really helped me and my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. They just came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins. Um, so I've been taking these 30 minutes before bed and they've been really, really helping so if you guys want to check them out, you can swipe up. Tati broke down on Instagram over the betrayal, and then she went on to make the famous Bye Sisters video. This situation actually really boosted Tati's vitamin sales. Not only did her Bye Sisters video go viral, which led to free marketing for her vitamins, but James Charles promoting Sugar Bear hair over his friend Tati's brand really pulled on people's heartstrings, which made a lot of people want to support her. Now that you have a bit of a background on the history of Halo Beauty, let's talk about this lawsuit. Tati and her husband weren't the only owners of Halo Beauty. They also had a partner named Clark Swanson. According to the lawsuit, Clark Swanson has an extensive background in building companies from the ground up and also has a lot of knowledge in the drug development field. The suit was filed on October 20th of this year, and it goes into deep detail about how Tati allegedly made empty promises, leading to a breach of contract, and was also negligent with their company, causing him to lose millions of dollars. Before we start reading this document together, I just want to remind you guys that this is only one side of the story. The plaintiff is trying to build a really, really strong case against Tati that would actually hold up in a court of law. Clark Swanson is trying to win this case and get money from Tati, so this document isn't going to shine Tati in a good light at all. So just keep that in mind. So the first page of this lawsuit reads, This is a lawsuit caused by the defendant's greed. Tati Westbrook, one of the first and one of the most successful YouTube beauty gurus in history, together with her new husband, James Westbrook, planned a nutritional supplement business split 50-50 with Mr. Westbrook's old friend and colleague, Clark Swanson. Before the business got off the grounds, the Westbrooks, unhappy with owning only 50%, approached their business partner, Clark Swanson, and sold him on a deal. Give them two-thirds of the business, and in exchange, the Westbrooks would commit to use Halo Beauty as Miss Westbrook's umbrella brand for all of her beauty launches, cosmetics, skincare, fragrance, all of Tati Beauty's products. Mr. Swanson agreed to these terms. So as we talked about earlier, Tati did mention in her launch video that she wanted Halo Beauty to be an umbrella brand for all of her future launches like color cosmetics and skincare. They would all fall under Halo Beauty. I did decide ultimately to put everything under the halo, everything would be one, and I thought, why not? You know what, we can start with vitamins, and we can go into skincare, and we can go into color cosmetics, and it's my business, so I can do that. I don't have to have different names for them. According to the lawsuit, Halo Beauty was a great success, and Tati made millions of dollars in distributions. 
Seeing how much of a hit Halo Beauty turned out to be, Clark Swanson set out to try and launch other products. In October 2019, Tati Westbrook announced her first ever makeup product. It was an eyeshadow palette and she launched it as a brand new brand called Tati Beauty. Some people were really confused as to why Tati created the second brand when she originally said everything would be under the Halo Beauty. This is where things get a bit messy. The lawsuit reads, The Westbrooks, however, got greedy. Instead of honoring their agreement with Mr. Swanson and honoring their duties to Halo Beauty, the Westbrooks cut a separate deal to launch a cosmetic product, a color palette, without Mr. Swanson and Halo Beauty. Future launches in makeup, cosmetic accessories, and fragrance were also planned separately and without Mr. Swanson or Halo Beauty participating. As a result, Mr. Swanson and Halo Beauty have been robbed of the benefits of the agreement with the Westbrooks, and the Westbrooks continue to profit from an agreement they never honored. According to Clark Swanson, Tati and her husband approached him and sold him this great idea on how they wanted to extend Halo Beauty. But to accomplish their goal with the brand, Swanson would have to give up a bit of his ownership in the company in order to make Tati look like she had the biggest role with the brand. She didn't want it to seem like she was just some celebrity endorser, she wanted to keep the appearance that this was mostly her brand. According to Swanson, in the lawsuit, this is how the conversation went. The Westbrooks visited Mr. Swanson at his home in Marina Del Rey. The three of them spoke for about two hours, mostly on Mr. Swanson's open-air balcony. The Westbrooks asked to re-envision Halo Beauty as a new company that planned to be a global, all-inclusive beauty brand for Tatiana Westbrook. The plan was to use Halo Beauty to deliver a wide range of beauty products personally endorsed by Miss Westbrook. Miss Westbrook claimed that she wanted to build something gigantic and that Halo Beauty would serve as an umbrella company to establish and build a global beauty brand with product categories that included supplements, skincare, cosmetics, fragrances, and more. Specifically, she stated to Mr. Swanson that she wanted to build her brand under one umbrella rather than do just vitamins. She wanted to expand Halo Beauty to include a wet line cosmetics and skincare. Halo Beauty had the potential to expand and become a huge standalone brand. She hoped Mr. Swanson was ready to build a brand, not just a bottle of vitamins, but the whole big thing. Miss Westbrook stated that she didn't want to be perceived as a mere spokesperson or celebrity endorser, but rather that she wanted Halo Beauty to be her company. She said she needed to be an equal shareholder with a management role. The current ownership structure, she explained, made her look like a minor partner. The Westbrooks proposed a one-third, one-third, one-third structure. The Westbrooks sold Mr. Swanson aggressively on the financial benefits of the new, all-inclusive brand. E-commerce-based beauty businesses were being acquired by major beauty brands like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal for eye-popping amounts. For example, Ms. Westbrook identified Jeffree Star as a potential advisor and stated that he had been offered $500 million for his cosmetic brands from L'Oreal. Mr. Westbrook stated that he thought the company as an all-inclusive brand could reach a $3 billion valuation. Miss Westbrook boasted that her celebrity status would guarantee success. He claims that Tati said, I know as far as our repeat customers, it doesn't matter. What I put on my name is going to work. It's going to sell, period, because of the seven years I put into building an audience. Miss Westbrook claimed that the product did not matter, that she could still sell a product to her loyal followers. Now, here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. Ms. Westbrook, a well-regarded YouTube influencer, also toted her clique of fellow influencers as potential sources of promotion. She told Mr. Swanson that her friends were among the most influential on YouTube and that they would cross-promote her products. She said some of them, like Jeffree Star, Manny MUA, James Charles, and Laura Lee, were launching or preparing to launch their own cosmetic line. According to Mr. Westbrook, those YouTube influencers would look for Ms. Westbrook to endorse their products, which she would. She, in turn, could expect them to give their endorsement to Ms. Westbrook's products. So if Tati was hoping that her fellow YouTube friends like Manny MUA and James Charles would endorse her products, now we can kind of see why she took it so hard when they both promoted her main competitor, Sugar Bear Hair. In 2018, Manny MUA tweeted, Have you guys ever tasted the sugar bear hair vitamins? How are they so good? Someone actually replied to his tweet about him not supporting Tati's Halo Beauty vitamins, and he responded by saying, How is me liking the taste of sugar bear hair correlate to me not supporting Tati? Then, as we know in 2019, James Charles took a sponsorship with sugar bear hair in exchange for security at Coachella. The lawsuit goes on to say, Ms. Westbrook related that she was sitting at her dining room table one night with Laura Lee, Manny, James, and Jeffrey. When 
Jeffrey disclosed that a competitor, Sugar Bear Hair, was offering $200,000 to him for a promotional video. Miss Westbrook told Mr. Swanson that she asked these influencers not to endorse Sugar Bear Hair because she was launching a competing hair, skin, and nails vitamin. She told Mr. Swanson that all of the influencers turned down Sugar Bear Hair's offer. So we kind of know that this part is true because in a video titled Speaking My Truth, Tati says that she was with a group of people and Jeffree Star brought up the fact that he had a potential deal with a hair vitamin company. She decided to tell Jeffree and the group what she had planned with Halo Beauty and pretty much told them her entire business plan. After hearing Tati was planning on launching her own vitamins, Jeffrey said that he wouldn't take the deal with the vitamin company. She then goes on to say that the other people who were around when she was telling Jeffrey about her business plan actually didn't support her when she launched her company. Um, and we're in like a group of people here. We're talking and he's like, you know, I have a potential opportunity to do a deal with a hair vitamin. Um, but I decided to take a risk and I shared with him like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be really, really difficult, but like I'm all in and I believe in what I'm doing and let me tell you why and let me give you an education as to why I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. And he's like, yeah, sure. Like, I don't, I don't really wanna do it anyway. So uh, yeah, anyway, other people who were around that knew what I was doing um, while I launched, I got no support and it just was a really messed up thing. Um, but I'm just coming from a place that if I've helped you, like, I think it's really uncool to go against me. Like, at least just do nothing. According to Swanson, after hearing Tati's plan on where she wanted to take the company, the huge influencers that she was gonna have endorse her brand, and the amount of products that they were gonna launch under Halo Beauty, it was well worth it to take a smaller share in the company so Tati could promote the brand as if she was the main owner, because ultimately the rewards would be much higher judging by Tati's business plan. The lawsuit reads, after an extensive pitch by the Westbrooks, Mr. Swanson agreed. In exchange for Halo Beauty becoming Miss Westbrook's exclusive channel for all things beauty, Mr. Swanson agreed to give up his 50% stake. At this point in time, it's not totally clear what kind of contract they had stating the new shares and business plan. Depending on what proof Swanson has, like a verbal contract or a written up and signed contract, it really could affect how this lawsuit holds up in court. Allegedly, throughout 2018, Swanson held up his end of the deal and set out to try and expand Halo. He met with a ton of big name people in the cosmetic industry. He met with chemists, manufacturers, and even talked with Michelle Pan about business in China. According to Swanson, despite all the efforts he made to expand Halo Beauty, both Tati and her husband never showed any interest. Then, in 2019, Tati's husband asked to meet with Swanson to talk about Halo Beauty. When they met up, Swanson was told that Halo would be going in a different direction. He was told Halo Beauty wouldn't be the best option to launch a cosmetics company under and announced that Seed Beauty contacted Tati with an offer to produce her cosmetic line and apparently it was too good to refuse. Despite Swanson's efforts to change Tati's mind, she went on to launch her palette with Seed Beauty, which according to Swanson made him lose out on his shares of an estimated $16 million. According to the lawsuit, not only did the Westbrooks block Swanson out of the launch of makeup, they also made the company coast through 2019 and didn't put any efforts into expanding the business. They also decided to no longer launch a fragrance line under Halo, which once again was different from what Tati originally pitched to him where she'd launch everything under Halo Beauty. To make the situation even worse, Swanson claimed that Mr. Westbrook moved funds around in the Halo Beauty account in order to devalue the company in case of a lawsuit. Now, this really is a huge claim, so I'm going to read you guys exactly what the lawsuit is stating. Keep in mind, we're not hearing Tati's side of the situation right now, so we're not seeing the full picture. Most recently, and as a result of Mr. Swanson's demands that the Westbrooks keep their agreement with him, James Westbrook, without Mr. Swanson's authorization, distributed hundreds of thousands of dollars in operating income from the Halo Beauty Partners LLC operating accounts to its members. Mr. Swanson is informed and believes and alleges that this is a further attempt to devalue and destroy Halo Beauty by looting company coffers in advance of a lawsuit. According to Insider, there is a hearing for this case scheduled for April of 2021. 
Tati has yet to publicly respond to the lawsuit on her social media platforms, but honestly, that's not too surprising since she's been gone since releasing her Breaking My Silence video. So yeah guys, this situation is just really crazy to me. It's hard to form an opinion on what's been said without hearing Tati's side, but it will definitely be interesting to see what happens from here. Lawyer fees are not cheap, so I imagine this guy must feel like he has a pretty strong case and a lot of money on the line if he proceeds with action against Tati. I have been kind of wondering what's been going on with Halo Beauty lately because Tati really did seem passionate about the brand and for the last year, it seems like it's been at a standstill. So what do you guys think about the lawsuit filed against Tati Westbrook? Do you believe everything Swanson is saying or do you think there's more to the story?